If you haven't visited the Adirondacks this winter, you're missing out on seeing the snow-covered mountains. Plan a trip to Whiteface Mountain and take a ride on the Cloud Splitter Gondola. Lauren Garfield, and my position is the Sales and Marketing Manager for Whiteface Mountain. The Cloud Splitter Gondola opened in 2000. Um, this year, summer of 2020, we actually did a, a big refurbishment. So all of the gondola cabins are brand new, new motors, new drives. Open every year in the summer, usually from mid-June through Columbus Day. When you get to the top of the Cloud Splitter Gondola, you can ski Lake Placid Lake, the high peaks, the ski jumps, the bobsled track, the top of the mountain. The gondola actually goes to our side peak of Little White Face, which is a little lower than the summit of the mountain, so you have beautiful views both up and down. In the summertime, it's 15 minutes up and 15 minutes down, and people can spend as much time as they want at the top of the Cloud Splitter Gondola. In the wintertime, we speed it up a little bit to about seven and a half minutes for the skiers because they want to kind of get up and down as quickly as they can. But it is a beautiful ride so that you have plenty of time to take in all of the views. Whiteface Mountain has been dedicated to the 10th Mountain Division since we opened in 1958. We're very proud of that partnership. We've had times where Fort Drum has come and used the backside of the mountain for training because uh, the updrafts in the winds are very similar to those in uh, Afghanistan. The, the Whiteface Veterans Memorial Highway was constructed in the early 30s. It was when Franklin Roosevelt was governor of New York. He wanted there to be a handicapped accessible way for folks to get up to the top of a mountain. As you know, he had polio and was in a wheelchair. It's a five mile highway from the toll house to the very top. Everything up there is built with rock that they excavated from making the road. So there's a castle up there. Uh, all the stone walls are built with the rock from that. The gondola ride and the Memorial Highway in the summer are part of the Olympic Sites Passport, which gets you into all of the different Olympic venues. And that's just a great way to not only see all of the natural beauty of our area, but to experience our Olympic heritage from the 1932 games and the 1980 games. I really just want people to be able to have an enjoyment of the outdoors and the Adirondacks as a whole. It's just beautiful all year round. Right now we're in the midst of our fall foliage season, which is just absolutely spectacular. But every day there's something beautiful and new to see here, whether it's winter, summer, spring or fall. People don't expect there to be such gorgeous mountains in New York and such big mountains. We have 46 peaks that are over 4,000 feet here in the Adirondack Park. It's 6 million acres of natural beauty, um, which is actually the size of the state of Vermont, just to give you a, a scope of size. It's a beautiful, diverse area. There's so much to do. It's just a great area to come and visit, something different for everyone.